Prophet Muhammad spreads and preaches Islam privately than publicly. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was walking and heard a sound. So he looked up in the heavens and saw Angel Gabriel sitting on a throne in the heavens and earth. Prophet Muhammad was terrified again and hurried back to his wife and asked her to cover him. Then Angel Gabriel revealed the second revelation of the Holy Qur'an. O you who covers himself, arise and mourn, and your Lord glorify, and your clothing purify, and uncleanliness avoid, and do not confer favor to acquire more, but for your Lord be patient. Qur'an 74, 1-7 For the first three years, Prophet Muhammad started to spread the message of Islam privately, one-on-one -on -one to his close family and friends that he thought would be interested in Islam freeing them from the practices of their forefathers and the worship of false gods, and did not publicize the message yet. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught and preached that there is only one true God that deserves to be worshipped and praised, and all other gods, including idols, are false and are only creations of God, and not the actual Creator Himself. He taught them that the one that believes in God and lives a righteous life would live a good life in this world and would be awarded paradise in the afterlife, in which they would live forever. He also warned those who did not believe in God that they would live a depressed life in this world and be punished severely in the next world. The first person to accept the message of Islam was his wife Khadija, as well as her cousin Waraka. The first slave to convert was Zayd. The first child to convert was his cousin Ali ibn Abi Talib and the first adult to convert was his best friend Abu Bakr Siddiq. Peace be upon them all. After three years of secretly struggling to spread Islam to his close companions, Prophet Muhammad converted 30 people. Then God instructed Prophet Muhammad to publicize and spread the message of Islam to the public and to speak out against idolatry and the worship of false gods to the people of Mecca, then later spread the message beyond Mecca. Khadija, peace be upon her, supported the rise of Islam with her wealth by providing food, water, and medicine for the Muslims.